Hello and welcome to Pedal with Power. In this video, I'm gonna be showing how you can change out this tourney derailleur into this nicer Shimano Acera derailleur. This is a much better shifting derailleur. It's made of far more metal pieces and it's gonna last a whole lot longer. And if you've done the upgrade and changed this freewheel out to the 1134, this is gonna help a whole lot. So I highly recommend doing this switch. Uh, if you're gonna be keeping this bike long-term, this is just a nice simple upgrade that you can do and I'll show you exactly how to put this on. I also highly recommend for doing any type of home repairs that you have a good home repair stand. Getting your bike up into the stand is, is super key. This is the Park Tool PCS 9.3. I will leave a link in the description below on how you can get one. It's a great stable stand that holds e-bikes really well. If you're gonna be working on your e-bike a lot, it's an absolute must. So in order to do this, you're gonna need the new derailleur. And you're also gonna need a nine millimeter socket. I like using this three-way wrench from Park Tool. This is just a great tool to add to your bike collection. You can do this though, just with a small crescent wrench. I like using this guy here. And you'll also need a chain tool. I just use the one off my multi-tool, but I will leave links in the description for all of these things. And I'll also leave a link in the description just for a standard chain tool if you already have a multi-tool but maybe it doesn't happen to have a chain tool on it and you'll also need at least one little cable tip we're gonna have to cut the old one off you're also going to need a new master link for this so uh, when you put your chain back on this is what we're going to use and uh, there'll be a link in the description below for this little guy too and then the first thing you want to do once you got your bike in the bike stand is just go ahead and shift into the highest gear so that the chain is in the smallest ring in the back. Now that you have your chain in the smallest gear in the back, we're gonna go ahead and grab our chain tool. I use this one off the Crank Brothers and just open this back up a little bit. And then the chain is gonna slot down right onto these little prongs right here. So you can go ahead and slot this onto your chain. And what this is actually gonna do is it's gonna push this pin and push one of the pins out as you screw it in. So just go ahead and crank that down and start pushing that pin out. And just screw it in all the way and it's just gonna pop that pin right out. And then unscrew it and the chain just comes right off. So take that all the way out and then you can go ahead and pull your chain completely out. And just set your chain aside for now. Then the next thing you want to do is down here on your derailleur, just find the little cable tip that's on the end and go ahead and just cut that right off right at the end there. Then you want to grab your socket, this little guy, or you can use a crescent wrench on this bolt. But if you have the nine millimeter on this thing right here, um, it's a whole lot easier just to put this on and just loosen this up a bit. You don't have to take it all the way off. We just want to get that cable out of there. And then you can grab the housing right above right here and just go ahead and pull the cable right out and just kind of let that hang there. And then on our multi-tool, we want to find the five millimeter. Go ahead and pop that five millimeter Allen wrench out. And then just up underneath here, there's a five millimeter bolt that the derailleur is bolted into the derailleur hanger on. And we wanna go ahead and loosen that. It's kind of a tight fit to get in there with this cage on there, but you can fit it with the multi-tool. If you have uh, just a regular five millimeter, it's a lot easier. This cage in here, this kind of takes a bit. A tool I like to use is my handy five millimeter P-wrench. So if you don't already have one of these, I'll leave a link in the description below for this. This is just a super helpful tool. Then I can just get in there and loosen that right up. And this bolt, you do want to take all the way out. So just pop that out. Now we have this old turny one. This thing can be set aside. Now we want to grab our new Acera one and you're going to locate the five millimeter bolt on this. And then you'll see on the back, there's this little bolt right here that tensions. This is the B screw for it. So this is gonna go right onto this little hook that's back in here. So you just wanna position it so it's far enough back and then go ahead and just screw it right back into the derailleur hanger. 
kind of leaning it back so it's pointing up back this direction and screw that in nice and snug. And then before we connect this cable right here, if you look, you can see this top pulley is not lined up with this smallest ring. These usually come with the limiter screws tightened in quite a bit. So what I always like to do before I connect the cable is to readjust this so that this is gonna be sitting right, so this top pulley is gonna be sitting right below this smallest gear right here. So to do that, just grab your Phillips out of your multi-tool and you're gonna go to the high screw right here, which is the top one, and just put that in there. And we're just gonna back it out a little ways. And you can see the actual derailleur moving as I'm doing it. And just back it out until till that top pulley is sitting right below this gear right here. And then we can reconnect the cable. So to reconnect this cable to the derailleur, first what you wanna do is find the barrel adjuster that's right here and screw that all the way in clockwise till it stops. Basically we wanna push that so it's all the way in. And then just guide this cable back through very carefully. And then once that's all the way through, you're gonna notice on here, there's a five millimeter Allen, no more little bolt. And this cable is gonna go and slide. So you just loosen that a little, it may be loose already. This cable is gonna slide right up underneath it. And then you're gonna cinch it down nice and tight with your five millimeter Allen. And then that cinches the cable into the rear derailleur. And then at this point too, you can go ahead and grab your little cable tip right here, slip it over the end of the cable, make sure that you got all the little wires in there, hold it gently. And then I usually just use snippers and lightly crimp it. You can also just use pliers and really smush it, but I just use these. Just make sure not to go too tight or you'll just cut it in half and have to do another one. And then that little guy's on there nice and good too. Good. So now we're gonna put the chain back on. So go ahead and grab your uh, master links right here and set those aside so they're within reach. And then grab your chain again. And the way the chain's gonna go on is on this back pulley. We're gonna go up through here. So it's going underneath that guy. And then we wanna go so that we're underneath the other pulley. and then come over the top of the other pulley so that it's going through and looks like that. So it's going above this bottom pulley, then below this one, and then back and around that one, this top one. And then we're gonna come up and over the gears. And then at this point, um, you can kind of let it hang so that it's not going to come undone. Now we want to grab our master link and I'll show you how to put that back in. So before we can put the master link back in, we have this one larger link that's still on the chain. So we need to remove that. You'll see with chains, there's a smaller one and a larger one. So you want to find this larger one. It should be the one that's still open. And then grab your chain tool and slot that back on. And we're just going to remove these two plates right here by pushing this pin out. So just push that pin all the way out. And then basically what the master link's gonna do is it's gonna replace those two plates, those guys. So now, now you have a small end and a small end, if you can see that. So we have two, two of the, the skinnier sides and our master link's gonna link these two sides together. So go ahead and grab your master link 
and you're going to push one pin into one of the small sides and then from the other direction we want to push the other pin through. So now I have one master link on one side and then the other master link on the other side and these will slot into each other and then you can pull them kind of tight. And if you pull them tight enough, you can get them to pop like that. But uh, you just need them tight enough to get it back on the bike and you can use the crank too. But now that makes that link all nice and good too. So now we have our chain back together and it's just dangling over here. So if you work the pedals back a little, just wrap it around the pedal. And then if you pull on the bottom to get some slack, now we can put it back onto this big ring in the front. And then our chain's on again. And now we have the new derailleur on. But this new derailleur is gonna need some slight adjustment. The high limiter should be pretty good now if we did that earlier. Stop. And I'll show you how to adjust the low limiter so it'll go to this low one because that's probably screwed in too tight. So now we're back here at the back of the bike. And you can see that we're in the highest gear, which is the smallest one. So just go ahead and shift your bike. Start shifting it. And you'll see I'm pushing it now and it won't go that way. That's because this limiter screw for the low gear, which is this bottom one, is screwed in too tight. So we need to back this bottom limiter screw out a little bit. And you're just gonna do that with your Phillips screwdriver. So just go ahead and back it out a couple of turns and try to shift it into the low gear again. So still not quite enough. So I'm gonna back this one out just a little bit more. There you go. And try it again. And now it shifts into there. Still a little catchy. So I'm just going to go a little bit more. And try it again. So now it shifts into there. So go ahead, once you think you have it correctly, just shift it down into the one smaller and then back into the lowest. And make sure it's going to shift into those two gears nice and smooth. Another thing you may need to do is just back the barrel adjuster out just a hair so that you can tension the chain a little, or the, the cable a little bit. And then just make sure that it's going to drop into each gear and go back up nice and smooth. And we're all good to go. Shifts a whole lot better now. If you're finding this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. I really appreciate that. And if you like working on your bike, subscribe to the channel for more info on how you can do different things like this. I keep adding videos all the time. Hopefully this will uh, make your bike a whole lot better. And I have a playlist that I'll put right up there about more things that you can do on your bike if you're looking for more repair videos. Thanks for watching.